Hello students, let us take a look at question number 3 of exercise 13.3 of chapter 13. It says that the dimensions of a right circular cone are as follows. The curved surface area is 308 cm square and the slant height L is 14 cm. You need to find two things, radius of the base R and total surface area. So the first one, see, we've been given the curved surface area which is pi R L. So we have the curved surface area, we have the length L. So in three variables, we've been given two, obviously we can find the third one R. So what we need to do is substitute the values of curved surface area, the length and this value, this unknown variable R into the uh, formula of curved surface area in order to find the base radius. And total surface area can be found out using the formula pi R into L plus R or you can simply find the base area that's pi R square and add it to the curved surface area because total surface area is curved surface area plus the area of the base. So let's do this sequentially. So first I will say curved surface area of cone is equal to pi R L. Curved surface area is given to be 308, pi we know is 22 by 7, radius is what we need to find and length is given to be 14. So, 7 1s are 7, 7 2s are 14. This is 308 is equal to 22 into 2 is 44 R. Therefore, R will be 308 divided by 44. So, let's cancel. 2 22s are 44, 2 1s are 2 5s are 2 4s are. Then again, 2 11s are 22, 2 7s are 14, 2 7s are 14, 11 1s are 11, 11 7s are 77. So, radius is equal to 7 centimeters because all the units are given in centimeters and centimeters square. So, this is first the radius of the base. Now, the total surface area is equal, total surface area of cone is equal to curved surface area plus area of base. Right? So, this is going to be what? 308 plus pi r square so this is going to you can even use the formula pi r into l plus r but this is the most convenient uh, way to uh, find out the total surface area so you need to be a little quick and this will come only through practice so i'll write 308 plus 22 upon 7 into r square r is 7 into 7 now see you have an entire term here this is one complete term. So, you are going to first solve this section and then add it to 308. Do not make the mistake of first adding 308 to 22 by 7. It will all go abrupt. So, whenever you get terms like this, when you have addition, then uh, when you have addition and multiplication, multiplication, remember that you have board mass, which states the series of how you are supposed to solve your questions. It is always first what is there in the brackets of division then multiplication then addition and subtraction so multiplication comes before addition so first priority is always given to multiplication and second priority here will give, be given to division and uh, to addition and if you have division first give priority to division and then multiplication so i'm going to first solve this term 7 ones are 7 7 ones are 7 so 22 into 7 again you have this entire term which needs to be added so i'll write 308 as it is plus 22 into 7 is 7 twos are 14, 7 twos are 14, 154. Now you are free to add these two terms. So 308 plus 154 will give me 308 and 154, 6, 4, so 462. This is your total surface area of 4. Let's mark this as Roman number 2. Now from 1 and 2 you can write your answer. From Roman numbers 1 and 2, radius of base is equal to 7 centimeters and total surface area of cone is equal to 462 centimeters square. Also note, notice the difference in the units. For radius it is centimeters whereas for the area or the total surface area it is centimeters square. Please take a look at the solution.
Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for math, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.